Yeah, you know, today was a pretty good assignment, <clears throat> frankly. Uh, it, we had clear blue skies, uh, which made things nice. Didn't have to worry about the fog or any clouds or anything. Got a really clear view. The Exploratorium over the Embarcadero had a, a watch party this morning, letting hundreds of people in. A lot of kids on spring break were down there watching this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at some video. We were able to record uh, some of the eclipse with our camera. Now, we didn't get a total eclipse, but it was about a third of the sun was blocked by the moon. Uh, it started about uh, 10, 15. It sort of reached a peak around 11, 15 ended by about 12 15 12 30 in there uh, but hundreds of people out there watching lots of folks very excited the staff at the exploratorium had three different feeds one from nasa two from their own crews who were in different places across the country uh, and everyone was just really happy and had a good time watching this thing it's exciting, especially the Exploratorium, you know, the, uh, the local science center for families, for the community. It's, it's great. I live for stuff like this because as a science educator, I get excited when people get excited about natural phenomena, whether it's an atmospheric event, an astronomical event, a, a geological event, um, or something happening like the migration of the monarch butterflies. When people start to pay attention and get interested and get curious, that's when we get excited here at the Exploratorium. All right, now this solar eclipse is over. The next one in the United States isn't until 2024. There's actually one in 2024 and another one in 2045, so I'll just have to take my uh, eclipse glasses and put them in a drawer and hope I'm still around by then. But for now, in San Francisco, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.